Merry Christmas. Uh, thanks a lot, Mr. Ross. Pardon, Cleo? Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Ross. You're drilling on my future wife there, fellas. Well, thank you, too, Cleo. You really know how to fuck up a guy's holiday. Right my wife looked like that, I'd stay home every night. Your wife looked like that, she'd dump you. Is that a candy cane in Santa's pocket? <laughs> it was her idea, the whole Christmas card thing. It's nice, isn't it? No, somebody get Hallmark. I'm gonna make a fortune off this. Hey, Cliff, does she have a sister? I think she's an only child now. Clifford! Sir. A little holiday appreciation, something extra. Oh. Keep it quiet. Good, thanks very generous. Oh, you. they love your 70s theme. Especially all this little lava lamp. Oh. You know, Clifford, it's invented minds like yours that help build this company and shape the destiny of our great nation. Sir, we designed dollhouse accessories. Don't you ever, ever be modest. Merry Christmas, son. Excuse me, did you lose something? Hey, buddy. I don't think so. <laughs> Here she is. She's up. Oh, yeah. What are you going to learn? That there's just no future in Flash. Future? You want future? Ah. I'll give you future. 24 hours in the future. Tammy and I are going to be sitting on a beach in a tropical paradise, plotting the next 50 years of our life. No. Now, that's future. No, no, no. You know why that's not future? I'm gonna, because I'm going to tell you why. Because Flash doesn't last for 50 years. You know what you need? You need substance. You really, substance. I, trust me on this. I know, I'm know. i going to find you substance. I'm really good at this, OK? Well, let's just look for substance. Sue Ellen from marketing. She's got great legs and a pension and health plan. <laughs> OK, she's perfect for you. Look, I'm involved, buddy. Just an introduction. I don't need an introduction. I found what I want. Now stop trying to fix me up, okay? Okay. I mean it. Okay. Betty, you know, Chicks go crazy when they're near me. Hello? Hi. Linda? It's Cliff. Oh, hi, Cliff. How's it going? Great, great. Merry Christmas. Is um, Tammy around? No, I'm sorry. She's not here. Okay. Listen, will you tell her the flight leaves at midnight? She knows that. But I'll pick her up at 10, um, okay? That's it? I mean, there's nothing about, uh, you know, a relative dying, a mother needing a kidney transplant, nothing? What? No, the mother's as healthy as a horse. Thanks, Julie. Bye. <laughs> Buddy? God, we're looking for you. Hey, I have this great idea. If you'll never get This is, I, it's unbelievable. I'm talking to Frank, right? And it comes to, it's so, it's so simple. It's, but it's, you know what it is? Sheer, sheer genius. Okay. Dollhouse landscape. We get teeny weeny weeping willows. We get little koi ponds. We can even throw in some live guppies for effect. What's the matter? Trip's off. Tammy canceled. <laughs> I'm not going to say I told you so. Good. I told you so. I don't want to hear it, Marty. You know, it's your own fault. You're your tunnel vision. You know that. You know, Marty, we're talking about spending the rest of our lives with someone. Why can't it be the person I want? Why do I have to settle for less? Tell you why, because guys like us, Clifford, look, guys like us don't end up with girls like that. Why not? Is that written down somewhere? Is that a rule? Why not? Tell me, why not? You know what you need? You know what you need? You know what you need? You need someone you can trust. You need somebody who's dependable. If I want dependable, I'll marry a, a Volvo. <laughs> Ten minutes ago, I had two tickets to paradise. Now I got nothing. What do you want me to do? You want me to hold you? You're scaring me, Marty. Go home. Well, what are you going to do? Look, look, you have a wife and a beautiful daughter waiting for you. It's Christmas Eve. Go on home. I'll be fine. What are you going to do? I'll be fine. Sorry, could you hold, please? It'll be just another minute, Mrs. Stone. Excuse me, who can I see about getting a refund on some tickets, please? Sorry, could you hold? I'll be right with you. All right, everything's okay, Mrs. Stein. Your seats are confirmed. The kosher meal on that flight is a veal shop. Meat gives Walter gas. Is there someone else here I could see? I'm sorry, it's just me. I'll be with you in a minute. How about the vegetarian plate? Vegetarian plate? But no broccoli. 
Sunray Tours, how may I put a Sunray smile on your face? Broccoli uh -huh. gives Walter uh -huh. diarrhea. Mm, I'm sorry. And he likes the window seat. That's nice. If I could just get a quick credit here. I'm sorry. Could you hold, please? I'll be right with you just as soon as I finish with these people. Okay, Mrs. Stein, you're all set. Okay. There's a smoking section. Walter has emphysema. Jesus, Walter. Can you hold, please? I'll get you non-smoking. Look, Mrs. Stein, you and Walter have a lot to work out here. If I could just get a quick refund on these tickets, okay? Thank you. Sure. Um, oh, I'm sorry. It says these tickets are non-refundable, Mr. Godfrey. Yes, I know, but it's an emergency. No, oh, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. You're telling me I can't get my money back? What's the matter? You don't speak English? She said no refunds. Just hold on a sec, lady. Look, when I bought these tickets, I had a dream, okay? Is it a long dream? It was a romantic getaway for two. That's what the ad said, two. Not one, two. Okay, I mean, here, look at her. Look at that. Look at her. She's very beautiful. Yeah, she dumped me, okay? Smart move. Stop it. Look, she's not going. Trip's off. She dumped me. I want the money back. It's as simple as that. It's company policy. I want my tickets to Shreveport. Here you are, Mrs. Stein. Look, I'm out three grand here. I'll give you five for the picture. What is wrong with you? It doesn't say about the broccoli. Look, if Walter's not eating the broccoli, I'm not eating these tickets. If everybody will just give me a minute. Look, I'll... I want to refund it. It's a medical emergency. A broken heart is not a medical emergency, Mr. Godfrey. These tickets are to Helsinki. Look, I'm warning you, lady. And you have obviously never been in love, baby. Personal life is none of your business, sweetie. Maybe it's for the best. What? For the best? How can it possibly be for the best? It's not my fault things didn't work out with you and your girlfriend. Miss. Maybe it's better now than five years from oh, now. Oh, is that supposed to make me feel better, Mrs. Freud? Because Miss. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. I was trying to help. Miss. I want to help. Why don't you join the Red Cross, honey? Go back and get me on your Yes, go get me a Santa's little helper. What do you think? Miss, I'm growing roots here. Ah, it's a wonderful life. Christmas. Clifford. Marty. Oh. Hi, Marty. I feel terrible. My best friend in the whole world reaches out to me, and I, I was too ignorant to see. What are you talking about? What? 
Look, Rosemary and I insist. We insist that you spend Christmas Eve with us. No, I've, I've already got plans, buddy. No, we won't take no for an answer. No, Marty, I... Uh, pal, there's nothing to be ashamed of. A lot of people are alone Christmas Eve. No, no, really, I got plans. I'm all set up here. I'm, I'm on my way out the door. You won't lie to your best friend. Uh, come on. Would I be alone on Christmas Eve? Good to be around friends on the holidays, isn't it, Ed? It is, Cliff. I mean, you really follow that law like nobody's business. Sam? Yeah. Can I get another one of those Molson and shot things? It's called the depth charge, Cliffy. It's gone. Eddie, why don't you take over here, okay? Okay. <clears throat> hey, little buddy, about a little Christmas cheer. Just get Chevy at James. Fix that, Sam. In a minute. some coffee. I'll have another. Don't you think you had enough? Am I still conscious? Yeah. Then I'll have another. What? This girl over there. Her name is Amanda. So? Her yeah. boyfriend just left. Just... Get me another drink. I was dumping myself, but, all right? Sam, just give me another drink, please, okay? You don't have to be so testy, Sparky. Sorry, Sam. Would you mind if I sit with you? Look, I don't want to be rude, but I really don't want it. Please. Here we go. <laughs> Drinks. Thanks, Sam. Here, Sparky. Smooth, isn't it? Yeah. What's your name? Clifford. My friends call me Cliff. Cliff, Cliff. Cliff? Cliff? I need to talk to somebody. I'm here. Something terrible happened to me tonight. What? I'm sorry, I can't talk about it. It's too painful. OK, that's OK. You don't have to. Yeah, I feel pain. I feel big pain here. What happened? Did your boyfriend dump you or something? Oh. Oh, that <laughs> bastard. No. His name was Max. We're together for almost three years. We we're going to spend Christmas together in Rio. Instead, I caught him in bed with another woman. You're kidding. Never saw How long had that been going on? Eleven years. She was his wife. Oh, the wench. Give that bitch the weekends that you have to have him on holidays. You give them the moon, they want the stars, huh? Cliff. Yes? That's very beautiful. Oh, thank you. You know, you're an extremely poetic man. Well, you're not the first to say that. Can I be honest with you? Please do. You have hair. Yeah. And incredibly sexy eyes. Yeah, two of them. I feel... What? What do you feel? Very attracted to you. Really? Yeah, I yeah. feel an incredible amount of electricity between us. Um, I think that's just the alcohol talking. Oh, I promise you, I am not the least bit drunk. Okay. Whoa! You know, you're in Ow. you're in no position at this point to be attracted to another man. You just it's too soon. You're too fragile. I couldn't Whoa. do nothing. Don't you find me attractive? Oh god, I'm sure you get cat calls from priests. It's mm, just I... there's a flame burning inside me, and I need your flesh to soothe the fever. Oh. How could you do that? Then get me out of here now. Oh. <laughs> Check, Sam. Please, please. Yes!
doing? Who are you calling? 911. No, that's not necessary. Please, One just more put step the phone down. Just scream. put the phone down. Just give me the phone. Back. Okay. okay, I'm not moving. Okay? Now, I gotta tell you, I am a little disappointed at your reaction this morning. I mean, we did do more than exchange telephone numbers last night. <laughs> you mean I? Several majestic times, yes. Oh, this isn't happening. Amanda. Oh, God, you know my name. Amanda, it is me, Clifford. It's Big Cliffy, the man you called your holiday love bunny. <laughs> oh, I get it. This is a joke. You're a friend of my brother. No, but he's not a joke. I don't even know your brother. We're not friends. I've never met your brother. We met last night at Sam's bar. We had a few drinks. We fell in love. Now, here we are. I'm sorry. I just can't remember. I must have had too much to drink last night. <laughs> you're telling me you don't remember anything. You're what you're telling me is... What you're telling me is you don't remember anything, anything that happened last night. Sorry. I don't believe this. I mean, I'm so good last night, I'm screaming my own name. They're gonna have to change the springs on the bed. What's this? Cliff. My name is Cliff. Whatever. Let's just forget about last night. Could you call me a taxi? Amanda. Yeah? There is something you should know. Yeah? You see, last night you were very, you were very, very upset. And, well, you asked me to take you away. Oh, honestly, you don't need to explain. No, I think I do. Oh, I get it. You're worried about what kind of guy I think you are for bringing me to a, hold that, a hotel. No, that's not it. You're married? Well, you don't have to worry. Your wife will never find out. No, that's, that's not it either. You see, Goodbye, Biff. I don't think a taxi's gonna get you home. Wait, wait, Muffin! Do that again and you lose a finger. Amanda, what do you have waiting for you back in Chicago? Max? How do you know about Max? You keep forgetting we got very close last night. How could he do that to me? I keep asking myself the same question. He didn't even call. Amanda, you have to forget about him. He's probably in Rio by now, working on his suntan, sipping coconut teasers by the pool with that selfish wife of his. That son of a bitch. Think he's wondering about where you're spending your Christmas? You think he cares? I don't think so. Where was his concern last night when he knew the condition you must have been in? Yeah. Yeah. For all he cares, I could have been picked up at that bar by some low-life sleeve monster rapist. Exactly. Amanda, look at it out there. I mean, 85 degrees, beautiful white sandy beaches, palm trees swaying gently in the breeze. But it's up to you. You can spend your Christmas alone in cold, snowy, crime-ridden Chicago, or in this paradise here with me. I don't have any clothes. No, I got a pocket full of cash. Don't rush me, I'm thinking. Now you just think about what's best for you. There isn't anybody waiting for me back home, is there? Just those deep, painful memories. It is terrible being alone for the holidays. It's the worst. You aren't a psycho or anything like that? I'm a registered voter. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Great big sunny sandbox, surrounded by water. That's how we see ourselves. Francie, I'd like you to meet Claire Enfield. She's from Sunray Tours. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She'll be taking photographs of our beautiful Mandalay Resort. <laughs> if there's anything at all you need, Francine will take care of you. Okay, thank you. So I'm sure you have done millions of these brochures before. This is the first one, actually. Oh, well, I'll make it as easy as I can. Thank you. How about if you see the proof first? Okay. I know that woman. Come on, Cliffy. What do you want to do first, honey? Oh, Cliffy, you have a way of making me feel ever so much happier. Honey, when you're happy, I'm happy. I'm ecstatic. We'll take that one, too. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. Just what do you do for a living? I'm a, uh, a designer, architectural consultant, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love guys.
guys with creative minds. Is any of your stuff on display at the Art Institute? Oh, you, you go there often? Actually, I've never been. Oh, because my stuff's all over that place. Do you know what I think, honey? No. I think fate brought us together. Actually, it was the tequila. <laughs> yes, that's true. Tequila and fate. <laughs> to dreams. You wait long enough, there's a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow. I always knew it could be like this. My best friend thought I was crazy, but I knew it was just a matter of time. I mean, all the best things in life are worth waiting for, aren't they, honey? I know, it's, it's perfect. I mean, flaming torches, swaying palm trees, vintage wine, and the food. I mean, look at the food. There's romance in the rice. Honey, at this moment, could you ever imagine even wanting to be somewhere else? I'll be right back. Jeannie? Hi. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm fine. Did Max call? Oh, okay. Well, when he does, will you give him a message? Tell him I'm at a beautiful resort having a great time with a fabulous looking guy half his age with a full head of hair. Okay, you have to hold real still. I know it's heavy. Perfect. Thank you. Um, God. No, 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 I'm sorry. That's not... Oh, my God. It is. Oh, my God. It is. Hey, I'll get your money back. No, 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 no I swear. No, I do. No, I do understand. No, no, I do. No, I do. A broken heart is definitely a medical emergency. Yeah, I know it is. Really? No, I've been there. I've had a broken heart. I'm sorry. Hey, I've had a broken heart. calm down for a second, okay? medical. It's like a... Of course it's medical. What are you doing? something or like Will you please just calm still? Thank you. Look, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here. It's not me. It was company policy. No, no. What I'm trying to tell you is it all worked out. You're not here alone? No, and I owe it all to you. That and the fact I don't pick up garbage on Christmas Eve. Look, I owe you a drink. Cliff Godfrey. Uh, Claire Enfield. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Lizzie? She looks different in person. Oh, that's not her. No, I mean, it's her. It's just, it's a different heart. Oh, well, the important thing is you didn't eat the ticket, right? Right. <laughs> is he with you, too? I gotta go. <sighs> I love the way the moon reflects off your hair. It's so, it's so reflective. Mmm, I feel like doing something spontaneous. Spontaneity? I love spontaneity. It's especially when, it, when it's not planned at all. Ta-da! Oh, good. You wait right here. I'll go get the suits, okay? We don't need suits. We don't? Of course not. Damn things take forever to dry. Damn! I lost an earring. It must have fallen off. They were my favorites. Don't worry. Tomorrow I'll turn this place upside down to find them, okay? No. I, I have to go back now. I, I just couldn't concentrate. Okay, you wait here. I'll go back, okay? No, I'll go. It'll save time. No. When I come back, I don't want to see you wearing these. Okay. Turning into a prune here. Think spontaneity, Kirby. I would love to go for a ride. What do you do? Oh, I'm an entrepreneur, a businessman, you might say. Big business? Big business.
Terrific? That's fantastic. Forgive me if I don't jump up and down. Why are your clothes all wet? Well, it's a long story, but I was under the impression that you were going to return to the jacuzzi. I didn't know you were going to stop off here and, and have a beverage. Oh, I'm sorry. I just lost track of the time. Well, these things happen, and who are we? Dimitri, he helped me find my earring. Uh, uh, that's, that's wonderful. If we ever lose anything again in the future, I'll be sure to contact you. Let's go, honey. Cliff? Why don't you go back up to the room and get out of these wet clothes? And I'll just finish up my drink. And we can pick up where we left off. Okay. Okay, you hurry, okay? Okay. I can't let you back into the church unless you abstain from sex for a week. Let's go. Good morning, honey. Good morning. What happened? I needed you last night, Cliff, but you looked so exhausted, I just couldn't bring well, myself to wake you. Great. So I slept in the tub. You were out cold. Honey, do me a favor next time. Wake me, okay? Okay. Why don't you go down the beach and reserve us some chairs? Right away, dear. Junior, if you tunnel out of this, you're going to be building sand castles without a shovel. Okay? Why does it have to be so sandy? I suppose you forgot the sun tan lotion. You are beautiful, aren't you? <laughs> the chairs are facing the wrong way. They are? Which way? This way. Okay. Right away. Excuse me. Would you mind just picking up a little bit? That's all. Thank you. Okay? Could you put my chair down? Sure.
Frank Jr.'s gone. Maybe he buried himself. That little rat. Frank! Frank! Hey, lady! Hey, you're getting sand on me. No! Um, Frank Jr., come on. Uh, I'm very sorry. That's okay. Uh, That's okay. You okay, honey? Yeah. Oh, I'm thirsty. Okay. Maybe like this. You stay there. You don't come out anymore. You understand me? Okay. All right? Oh, yeah. Okay, then we did No more shovels. Stay right there. Hey, bartender. Give me one of your uh, pineapple specials. You really got to uh, try one before you leave this place. I will, thanks. Yeah. Hey, name's Anthony. Come on. How you doing? Nice yeah, to meet you. Good. Listen, I couldn't help but notice your chick on the beach, man. She's hot. It's very pretty, isn't she? I mean, really hot. How'd you like to join us for more volleyball? We could use another setter. Oh, thanks. Volleyball's not really, uh, uh, not, uh, not my game. Come on, have one drink with the guys, really. No, insist, no, really. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm all set here. Bartender, thanks so much. What's the problem? Would you just have one drink? No, no, really, I'm all nice set, okay? Thanks, buddy. Bartender, I, uh, I'd like you to line up around for you know, my I'm house. I'm next time, okay? Excuse me, fellas. Oh, we were just leaving. Okay. They want to take me out for a sail. Do you want to come? I'm not much of a sailor, honey. Not much room in the boat anyway. Well, then everything works out perfectly. Bye, Cliff. Bye-bye. Bye. Come on, guys. Last one's there, please. Have a good time. You didn't give me Master Mouse, did you? Oh, I did, I did. That's all right, Mrs. Polanski. I've got it, I've got it. I did. Oh, thank God. Get off! Get off! You're okay, you're okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Here. Oh, thank you. I don't know how to ever repay you. Brandy was 575. The mouth to mouth was on the house. What were you doing out there anyway? I was going to shoot him, a photographer. I thought you were a travel agent. No, I just took the job at Sunray so I could shoot their brochure. As soon as I get on my feet, I'm going to stop sending people to Helsinki. Drink your brandy. I can't. I'm still choking on kelp. Close my eyes. I see kelp. Well, don't close your eyes. Think about something else. I can't. Oh, my God. There's Meryl Streep. Where? Right there. There's Meryl Streep. It's not Meryl Streep. I know, but it looks like her. That's her nose. Yeah, but look at her chin. I mean, she looks like... She looks like Betty Davis. Can't use her. She's dead. What do you mean? Why not? So what? So it's my game. I make up the rules. Okay, it's Meryl Streep. It's a quarter you owe me. My life I owe you. you. Saved me from a kelpy death. 
Maybe they'll name a drink after you at the bar. Yeah, the Clifford, glue and kelp, no ice. Nobody saw me pull you out of the water. If they have, they've already forgotten it. Hey, mister! You don't want to have a shrimp! <laughs> yeah, but I'm fine now, thank you. You got a license? License? To be a kamikaze kelp pilot! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry about the other day. I was a real jerk in your office. Well, that's all right. You got dumped. I've been dumped before. Seem to have bounced back pretty quickly. Where is uh what's Amanda? The... Jesus, what time is it? Uh, five. Oh, I gotta go. She's probably worried sick. Thanks a lot again, okay? Of course not. Why would anything be wrong? Where have you been? Sailing. Sailing? For seven hours? What did you do? Circumnavigate the globe? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I thought we were spending the day together, that's all. I didn't know you were going off sailing with a bunch of half-naked Sinbads. They happen to be nice guys. I don't care if they're decorated war heroes. I brought you here so that you and me could be together. What? Who are you calling? Light reservations, please. That is not necessary. Now, will you put down the phone, please? Clifford, I don't like possessive guys. It's a major turnoff. I think I'll just go back to Chicago before we end up hating each other. No, I, I didn't mean to be possessive. I'm sorry, okay? I was, I was just worried. That's all, honey, okay? I'm sorry if I overreacted. Why don't you just put the phone down, baby? I'm sorry. I, I was, I, it's my fault. Never mind. Right, now, why don't you just go in and get a nice dress on? We'll get a light bite to eat, okay? Okay. Good. But I have to call home first. Do you mind? <laughs> you call me. What I mean is, I need a little privacy. I'll meet you down at the bar. Okay, sure. Why don't I just wait for you right out in the hallway? Okay. Okay. Bye. I'll just be a little teeny minute. Okay. Jeannie? Hi. How's it going? Great. Oh, it's beautiful here. Max called. He called? Yeah, he was pretty upset. How upset? Very. He never saw you leave. <gasps> Great! Well, he should have thought about that before he took his wife instead of me. What do I do with them? But what is it? Oh, oh, it's sexual soccer. Yeah, I heard about this. I like this. Oh my God. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, no hands. Oh, 15 minute extra penalty. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah, too. Oh, okay.
doing better? Yeah, knock, knock. Who's there? Kelp. Kelp who? Kelp. Kelp, kelp. kelp. I'm drowning. Where'd you hear it? <laughs> the housekeeper. Who's your roommate? It's water skiing. So you're free? I guess so, yeah. Do you want to help me out? Sure. Um, uh, actually, you want to go sailing with me what? and smile a lot? The hotel promised me a model and he didn't show up. Oh, I've done this ocean, Claire. Look how calm it is. You won't even know you're on a boat. I get seasick in a water bed. <laughs> There's no wind. We'll be lucky if we get three knots, please. No. Please? No. Please? Oh, oh, oh. Looks like the wind picked up. What was your first clue? What are you doing up there? Tsunami watch. I have it under control, really. Why don't you come back here and sit down? Okay. You make them. No, no, I'm not doing jokes. I mean, that's a creative job. It's full time. I'm jealous. A little bit too much. Huh? Wait a minute. That's <laughs> it, huh? <laughs> Great, really. I'm getting the hang of this thing, huh? <laughs> oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Thank you so much. This okay, isn't bad. A little bit more to your left. Huh? Now look back at me. Come on. Where? Look, look. Okay, smile. Look, 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 look. look, look. Very photogenic when you're terrified. Thank you. How about a few more shots with no, a light? You're out of your mind. Absolutely, Absolutely not. Do you play tennis? Do I play tennis?
play volleyball? Uh, no. <laughs> Just checking. Hey, mister! Hey! Friend of yours? That's my buddy. <laughs> Hanging in there? Hey, buddy. What's your name? Frank Jr. Nice to meet you, Frank Jr. Hey, you want the show to Castle? Huh? Ready? Uh -huh. Ho! Frank, there's a grown-up inside the pen with Frank Jr. Don't worry. His teacher said he had trouble communicating with kids his own age. Show me, kid. We gotta bust out of here. Where's that show? You got the show, kid? We gotta get out. Sure, I need like a dinner, like a fancy dinner, restaurant. Jesus, I made reservations on a dinner cruise for me and a man. I gotta go. Only you can do make all this world seem right. Only you can do make the darkness bright. We were supposed to have dinner on the dinner cruise, remember? Oh, I'm sorry. We're having so much fun. I just lost track of the time. It's dark out. You don't need a watch. I mean, look, what is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. I said I was sorry. Clipper, that it was an honest mistake. Hey, why don't you just eat a banana and mind your own business? Cliff, that's not polite. Yeah, Clifford, lighten up, huh? Hey, go swing from a vine, pal. Hey, Cliff, I don't like the way you're acting. Amanda, I'm not acting. Oh, hi. Um, you still need me? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, dinner for the brochure thing. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay, uh, where? Uh, that's the next room? The next room? Okay, great. What, an hour? Right. Okay. Okay. Great. We can get a date later? No, it's for the picture. It has to be a romantic dinner shot. Oh. Which one? Um, right there. Okay. You want to pour the champagne? Okay. All right. Setting the timer. Okay. We have two minutes. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. How do you want me positioned here? Uh, there. It's good. It's got to be a little more romantic than that, don't you think? Should we scooch over a little bit? Okay. Great. How about my arm around you? Great. Okay. <laughs> now hold hands, that kind of thing. Want to look there or at each other? At each other. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Clifford? Yeah. I was asked to give you this. Thank you. Something's 
something wrong? No, it's just Amanda. Where were we? Um, well, uh, you had your right, arm right. around me. We were... I mean, I'm not gonna jump every time she snaps her fingers, right? That's probably wise. I mean, a man's gotta draw a line somewhere, right? Absolutely, it makes sense. I mean, you don't. You get taken advantage of. I mean, and, and, and it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than some goddamn note to get me to forgive her, right? Absolutely. A flash. Of right. All right. You were gazing. Gazing. <laughs> Cliff! Cliff, there you are. Didn't you get my note? Yeah, I got that. I feel terrible at how thoughtless I was, and I'm just really sorry. Hi. I just wanted to give you this. Shake it. I saw it and it reminded me of you. Well, I'll see you back at the room. Bye. Look at this. Is that not the most beautiful gesture you've ever seen? <laughs> Can we finish this later? You know, with your face, you should try something longer. Sometimes the right pair of earrings can really change your life. See. Very nice. Nice dress. Thanks. <laughs> uh, nice. Haven't seen you around in a while. Oh, man, and I've been uh, ordering out rooms. Yeah. How's the first shirt coming? It's coming. You know, it's hard to find reliable models, but. Um... Well, I, I got to meet Amanda right now, but I could give you like an hour or later on. Mm, I'm running late for a shoot, but thanks. What? <laughs> Get up off the set. Clap and drop. Clap and drop. Hay que vente conmigo, chinita. A donde vivo. Honey, I want to ask you something. What? I was going to wait until the New Year's party, but tonight, after you know the music, the lobster, everything, it's all—it's all too perfect. What is? Honey, how long have we known each other? A week. Six days, but it does feel like a lot longer, doesn't it? What's your point? My point. My point is that is that time is insignificant to people like you and me who are so deeply connected to each other and have this mutual trust for one another. And naturally, out of that trust flows a certain compassion, and then that compassion then segues naturally and into a sort of firm. Cliff, if you want to ask me something, just ask it. <laughs> no, just, just the way you're so direct, I... Amanda Hughes? Yes? A telephone for you. <laughs> you can take it at the bar. I'll be right back. Okay. Thank you. Okay, honey, I'll be right back. Hello? Max! Where are you? Oh, I'm so happy you called. Goes 
on vacation with his wife and falls back in love with her. He's going on six honeymoons. No good, good for nothing, two time son of a bitch. Jeez, go crazy. When Everything okay? It couldn't be better. Good, honey. I've been giving it a lot of thought. I think we should live together. I mean, I'm the one who should be celebrating. I want to be with you through good times and bad, through sickness and in health, for better or for worse. I don't even know what I saw. I know him. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but if the answer is yes, we could fly back He's to Chicago the after the New Year's Eve party. You could be moved into my house by, say, Wednesday. And I feel don't good. worry, I have plenty of closet no, space. No, I feel better than good. I feel <laughs> honey, great. I was gonna wait, but I He's can't anymore. Wish to... <gasps> you. What do you say? I love them. Say yes. Make me the happiest man in the world. Yes. Oh, play it, Ricardo. Kiss me. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo, de contrabando. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se ve gran cielito lindo, los corazones. Today makes you feel glad to be alive, isn't it? Something you should think about. I know why you're doing this. I'm not the kind of guy you're used to dating. I understand that. And you are scared to death that you're falling in love with me, aren't you? For the first time in your life, what you are feeling is real. And that scares the hell out of you. But if you walk out that door, the chances are you will never, ever meet anybody like me again. Now, Amanda, darling, are you willing to take that chance? Bye, Cliff. Good luck. Thanks. You all ready for the big uh, New Year's party tonight? No party for me, Reuben. My girl did a tap dance on my heart. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. But there's a lot of that going around lately. Love. It really stinks, man. Uh -oh. You getting a head start on tonight? No, I'm hoping to choke on an ice cube. <laughs> I don't get it. She just packs up her stuff and leaves. One minute I'm ordering monogram towels for the bathroom. Next, back to the table for one. Wasn't meant to be. I should have those words tattooed across my eyelids. Sean Connery. Right there. Look at the hairpiece. Look, I don't want to be cheered up, okay? I want to feel pain. I mean, it helps me get my mind off the fire sale I'm going to have to have to pay for the trip. Miss, how come you're not getting ready for the big party? Oh, I'm not real big on New Year's Eve. I'm just going to stay in my room, watch it on TV. Look, I know I should be minding my own business, but I'm a bartender, so it is my business. Your girlfriend, she dumped right on top of you. You, you're going to see the new year in on the television. Come on, come on. The two of you should get together, go to the party, have a good time. Ah, it makes sense. Why not? You want to go? Come on. Mm, hate to miss that TV thing is all. 
I'm sure I can call somebody and have you take the word. <laughs> Come on, nine o'clock? Um, all right. Great. Nine. Thanks, Ruby. All right. Thanks. You're a sweetheart. I know this. I know, I know, I know. I gave my heart, it came back tarnished. You gave me smiles, it was revarnished. I've fallen overboard, looking for reward. Don't leave me off, and leave me on Oh, good. Balloons make me happy. <laughs> oh, wait. Pictures. Let's step right over here. Pictures. Everyone has a picture. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Now, put your arm around her. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank happy you New much. Year. That'll Thank be Bella. You. What? Bella. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. You look good. I look funny. You want something? Yeah. Can we get two, please? Thank, Thank you. you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. No, I can't. Sorry, I don't know how. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Come no, I can't on. dance. I don't care. No, I can't. I can't. No, I don't know how to dance. dance. No, but I can't dance at all. I don't want to dance. Please don't make me, okay? I don't know. How do we start? Um, take a step. <laughs> take another step. Take another step. <gasps> What's the matter? You're what dancing. Do I, no, I'm not. Yes, <laughs> you are. This is dancing. That's all it is. Why are they laughing? They're laughing at me. Yeah. Oh. There's the Big Dipper. Where? Right there. It's not the Big Dipper. It's the Little Dipper. No, it's not. It's the Big Dipper. It's a Little Dipper. No, 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 it you're wrong. It is the Little Dipper. You're wrong. Okay, it's the Big Dipper. Here, make a wish. What'd you wish? Not Why not? Because Come on. Come true. Tell me what you wish. Forget yeah. it. Tell me what you wish. Right? It's not a big deal. Buffalo gals. Okay. Come out tonight. I don't want to know. Tonight. I, I really don't want to know. Tonight.
You know a man needs a woman. No man got to have a woman to carry on. To carry on. To carry on. Just like a boxer needs a Just like me, I need. That wish I made outside, it just came true. Gabe, it's that time. It's about 30 seconds till midnight. Go grab your partners, go get your hats and your noisemakers, and let's count down. Hats. We need hats. I'll be right back. Cliff, I thought about what you said, and I do want to spend my life with you. Let's start the year off together. I know. Just think of something else. Excuse me. Oh, Look, Mia Farrow. Right there, Mia Farrow. Cliff, I'm not stupid. I know who Mia Farrow no, is. That's not Mia Farrow. No, I know. It's a game, honey. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know. I've given the flight attendant my credit card. She's checking on the first class. Will you please stop that, young man? Yeah. There are seats available. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. But your credit card will only cover one upgrade. Oh. Well, thank you anyway. Where are you going? Uh, first class, silly. It's okay. I'll just be nearby. I'll bring you back some free stuff. Remember what I said about the mile hike?
And one for you. Can I get you anything? Um, excuse me. Do you know where the gentleman who was sitting there is? Why, yes, he got off at the airport. Just been dumped, huh? <laughs> me too. It's a bitch. You know, uh, nursing a broken heart is something I highly recommend doing in pairs. I can't believe he left me. Say, those are some very nice earrings you have on. Yeah. I'm into uh, precious gems. It's what I do. They're diamonds, mostly. Diamonds? Yeah. Excuse me. Certainly. <laughs> you know, my friends call me Scooter. Scooter? Yeah. <laughs> it's a funny story. I got the name. I used to have one. <laughs> Tell me about the diamonds again. Well, you know, they come in many shapes. You're in there. Please. Please open the door. What can I say? I'm sorry about last night because I am. I mean, I have no excuses. I deserve whatever I get. Look, Amanda and I, we split up. I know you've heard it before. But this time, I left her for good. I mean, she's on a plane back to Chicago now. I had to come back. Claire, I just want a chance. Please, I, I want us to be together. Just... Try, please. Open the door, please. The woman who stays in the room, where is she? She checked out. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. Here we are. You were the best thing. Excuse me, Miss Claire working today. I'm sorry, she's not working here anymore. What? Let me get you a brochure. Well, is there any way that I could get in touch with you? I wouldn't know. Uh, I, just a telephone number and address. Anything like that would be a great help if you could, please. We don't have that kind of information here. And even if I did, I couldn't give it to yes, you. Well, I understand, but I try to, you know, she's not listening to the phone, but any help that you could give me, I would really appreciate it. Please. Look, I'm sorry. Look, I, I need to get in touch with her. I'm sorry to be rude, but please, could you please help me? There's really nothing I can do. Let me check those plates. Here's my card. If anything changes, cook God for you, okay? Hey, buddy. Welcome home. Sorry I didn't get right back to you last night, but, you know, we had the tradition right. of taking down the tree, and, it's you know, right, if Rhonda doesn't break at least Marty. one ornament, she's not happy. Marty! Sorry. What's the matter? Yeah. What's the matter? All my life, I'm waiting for the right girl to come along, and when she finally does, I don't even notice her. And I notice her... And I screw her over. For what? Walking magazine cover. I'm a complete loser, Marty. Well, you get no argument from me there. So what? So what? Maybe, maybe you do, you know, do this thing. You're this guy. You get to date the magazine covers. You do it for 20 or 30 years. So what? I mean, that's, that's a great thing. You know, you date them, and then you get old, and then you don't. So what? What am I gonna do? Mr. Godfrey, call on line two. Lisa. Could you take a message, please, Maria? Thank you. Lisa. Now, who's Lisa? Uh, Mr. Godfrey, the woman says it's important. She's calling from Sunray Tours. Hello? Hello? need 
One thing. Come on, lady, I got football practice. Me too. Hey, Larry, come on, stop moving there, will you? Dad. Whoa. Mom, Larry gave me a wedgie. I did not. All right, you guys, knock it off. I mean it this time. Nobody moves a muscle. You got that? Shut up, you little rugrats, and smile. Or else no TV. Good morning, Target shoppers. Don't forget our after Christmas sale will be extended throughout February. And please, disregard the rest of this announcement as it does not pertain to you. Claire, it's me, Cliff. Look, I know you don't want to hear anything I have to say, but I, I'm, I'm going to say it anyway. I mean, I don't, I don't know how to apologize enough for what happened the other night here. I, I have no excuses. I am an idiot. I... Attention, Target shoppers. There is a bullseye special sale on tube socks in aisle three. Um, Claire, I, I just didn't know hey. what I wanted. I didn't hey. know. Yo. I didn't know what I wanted, but, but now, now I do. And it's, it's, it's you. It's, it's only you. You've got to believe me. It is so beautiful. That's stupid. Claire, I could spend all day apologizing on this ridiculous thing. Hey, I'm guy. sorry I am. But I am being chased around by this angry security guard. I just want you to know that I can... Hey! Hey! Why don't you ever talk to me like that? I don't have a loudspeaker. Claire! Cliff? Claire? Cliff? Claire? 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 I don't know why I'm in Claire. I don't know. Oh, great. I, I know him. He's a friend of mine. That's right. You actually know this guy? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, pal. I'll do this, OK? He broke the manager's microphone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll take full responsibility for it, really. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Just don't let it happen again. You all right. Claire. Got Hear it. Claire! I just, I just need you to know that I love you. Uh, testing. One, two. Larry, did you say something? I said I love you. Sorry to see. I can hear you. There's all this noise. I said I love you. I love you too. You are my destiny. When you hold my hand, I understand the man. I gotta come back next week. Oh. Oh, shut up. Riding high on the news. No more yesterday's blue. I can lose them all. All I need is you. I had a dream. You were there. I can change them all, and all I need is you. Only you, only you. Just the thought that you are near, all the heartbreak disappears. Nothing fills me up quite like you do. What a mole.